everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. Today, Shannon and I are camping in Shenandoah National Park. Uh, look, you can see your breath. <laughs> That's how cold it is. Yes. <laughs> what? You said Fran's orange now? No. 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 <laughs> we did not bring Fran. Uh, we have been tent camping this past couple days in this very, very cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's been three years three years since we've had, actually about three and a half years since we've had Fran. Mm -hmm. And since mm -hmm. having Fran, we have not tent camped like this. No. Um, let alone in the cold no. like this. Right. Uh, before Fran, we, this is, this is what we were doing. We were tent camping mm -hmm. and we loved it. Mm -hmm. And we are at one of the places that we have one of our most fondest memories of tent camping. It's back here in the woods in Shenandoah in the fall. Right. However, Karen brought up. Yeah, we we knew it was going to be cold. Let me see. This but, is the temperature right now. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's, it feels like temperature is thirty six. And, okay? and the good news and, and this is, is at what? What time is it um, now? It's it like nine o'clock in the morning. Eight thirty. Yeah, it, right. it's warmed up since we've gotten up. Yes. <laughs> when we got it this morning, it was freezing. It yeah. was at least thirty two, maybe less. It was super cold overnight. Windy. Um, yeah. Well, we managed. We yeah. managed. Um, we mm -hmm. did remember how to layer and do our beds accordingly, but it was it was still cold, and it was a bit of a challenge for us, yeah. especially when we are so used to being in Fran. Yeah. Now Fran we have. Us. <laughs> yeah, we've camped in her when it's been very very. I think the coldest was like seventeen degrees. Hungry mother. Yeah. And hungry mother. Yep. <clears throat> and we made it just fine um but we did have a little heater in there so yeah it was battling it wasn't doing great but it was battling that cold temperature but this is the first time that we've really winter tent camped in a very very long time and it's not e it's not even winter it's october 16th something like october that. 16th yeah. it's the and, middle of october and we picked the two coldest days of the month to try out the tent well not on purpose <laughs> no it wasn't on purpose we we made the reservations a while back and it just happened to land that this cold front from canada was coming down yeah. so thanks canada <laughs> <laughs> i think it's supposed to warm up uh, after this week uh -huh. but anyway we leave. yeah but anyhow it was a good experience for us because uh, it helps us to remember what we need to deal how, you know the different things that you deal with when you're tent camping and to try to be as much prepared as you can for different types of weather conditions so well and i guess we should mention why we are doing this yes um the road trips are great mm -hmm. we love the road trips in the van however we want to start expanding out into being able to do more whether that be because of time um finances we want to be able to see more and not necessarily spend a week traveling to get there and a week traveling to get back. Now, our road trips typically have been consisting of driving out west. And what we've discovered with the last two road trips <clears throat> is that for the first three days, really and truly, we've seen we're just all. driving. Yeah. And we have seen quite a bit of it. We've seen everything that we want to within, what, right. three days? It, the, the direction that we have we go in in March. Now, if we go somewhere, say, in July, and we go set like 70 north down to Colorado and those places, that would be feasible to do a road trip. Um, but we have pretty much seen everything between here and... Yeah, and like when we were in Big Bend, when we were in Big Bend, we went through those campgrounds and we we're like, wow, how cool would it be to stay in some of these places? Because yeah. they're so amazing to visit. And there's something epic about topping it off with waking up to I mean look what we woke up to this morning right even with it being cold mm -hmm. and it was cold and us being unorganized you still can't be waking up to this so that for me is, is part of what's driving this uh, this new route is being able to add the stays to some of these memories right so that's kind of what we're, we're gonna do is we even um, are talking about when we were in Mount Rainier, out hiking in, in Mount Rainier, there's a lot of beautiful places that you can tent camp. 
and how epic it would be to be able to tent camp in those areas and that's what you would wake up to these beautiful glacier lakes and so forth and so on so that's kind of the idea behind it and and that on top of we have some friends who also do that type of traveling and they've kind of gone over with us uh, how how they've successfully done it so it inspired us and then I got a call from my sister over um, the summer she and her husband went up to Michigan up to uh, the coast there and she said it was just spectacular and it would be fantastic for tent camping so that was enough for us to say okay we're gonna try this yeah, out revisit tent camping because we I mean that's that's how we started mm -hmm. and there are a lot of comforts with Fran but if to trade off the comforts for these kind of memories to wake up to I think we're both willing to willing to do it mm -hmm. so yeah. that's what we're doing we're experiencing it so that we can kind of get acclimated to what we need, what we don't need, what's working, what's not working. Yeah. Shake down. Shake down. Kind of a shake down. Yep. And, and we, we this was kind of an epic <laughs> fail this trip for us. Yeah, we, we didn't do great. Um no. we definitely found out that um Fran offers a lot of conveniences and a lot of um things just are a lot easier. Yeah. But uh i don't think that it discouraged either one of us to try no. again we might just do it when it's a little bit warmer so we don't have to bring quite as much stuff with us right yeah we had to really um when we saw the weather was changing and not for the better <laughs> um we knew we were going to have to pack quite a few more layers and clothing and so forth to stay warm in this kind of weather and especially in this area in shenandoah you're up on top of a mountain on kind of a bald area and the wind is constant up here and it's you can hear it well and shenandoah you don't know what to expect yeah, i mean just just we drove up from port royal up to we're in big meadows and that's about a 50 mile span down skyline drive and we went through uh beautiful some sunny, sunshine sunny spots rain um clouds where you couldn't see right. to barely to drive through it to then we got up here and it was actually pretty clear nice yes yeah, so clear enough and beautiful so yeah you um, kind of have to prepare for everything in Shenandoah yeah. and to keep things minimal tent camping that's not not super the easiest easy. thing to do <laughs> yeah. so, so but anyway so we're going to I think we're going to make some breakfast here mm -hmm. we've got a fire going and we're going to try to get out today and hit a few of the trails that we want to see before Shenandoah closes down. Um, now, Shenandoah doesn't really close down. You can drive the Skyline Drive year round. round. You should probably, uh, they, they close the campgrounds at the end of um, October, 1st of November, somewhere in there. I think the second week of November, they right. close up the campgrounds. So there's no camping but you can drive the skyline drive um, but i would strongly suggest that you call ahead to see what the road conditions are because it's not always open so yeah, we've come down and actually had to turn around because there were trees down in the yeah uh, it was a snowstorm when we got here and the wind was howling and trees were coming down so we ended up coming turning around going home but yeah it is what it is it, you're you're in the mountains and it changes uh mile to mile uh, elevation to elevation yes it's all does. over the place all right so we're going to share our day with you and just wanted to let everybody know what we've been up to um, I know many of you have been watching our out west road trip series and we really appreciate that ran into a, a couple the other day um, out of the blue stopped us and said hey aren't you wandering out yonder we were like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're like hey we want your channel we're always surprised by that um, but anyhow, we wanted to share with you some of our newer adventures that we're doing right now. So, okay. All right. We'll catch up with you later on. Ho hopefully warm up a little bit today.
we've decided to do the Black Rock Trail, Black Rock Summit Trail. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to share it with you. So this trail is at mile marker 84.44. Yes. So we drove from Big Meadows today after we uh, packed up camp. Decided to head down here because this is one of Shannon's favorite trails. This is one of my favorite trails and it's really pretty during this time of year. And anyhow, we're going to share it with you, but um, it is windy, cold. It is spinning a little bit of snow. Sleet. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Shenandoah. Yeah. So we're nearing the summit here. You can see the boulder field. This is pretty much what you're going to see up here. <clears throat> and then it kind of wraps around. You have some really pretty views up here. It's a short trail. Maybe a mile round trip, Shannon? Yeah. It's a good leg stretcher. <laughs> yeah. It is. So. River. Entering into the boulders. Shin's calling them rock rivers. Snake yeah, snake pits in the summer. As you can see, it goes down the mountain here. So, pretty cool. And beautiful views. Look at that. So the trail kind of wraps you around. You can see the boulder field behind us as well. See people up there. All right. And it's just sort of lollipops and then takes you back down. So again, just a nice little leg stretcher. So we just passed the Big Meadows area heading towards Front Royal and we're at one of the overlooks and you can see way out here, we're pretty sure that's snow. You can definitely see it falling over there. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. October. Yeah. Mid-October. Okay. It was spitting snow this morning so we're pretty sure that's just snow flurries out there right now. Pretty cool. So we've stopped at this overlook. It's the first time we've seen a rainbow here in Shenandoah. Pretty cool. You can see it right there. It's snowing. Very cool. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. We're heading home now. Uh, it's a beautiful day. A beautiful, beautiful fall day. A lot of pretty color. And the way that the clouds and the sun was coming through just made it really spectacular. Cold. Yeah, it was pretty cold. But spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, thanks for joining us today as we went wandering out yonder here in Shenandoah.